That's Instagram. All right. Let's do it. All right, so when we got started almost five years ago, we came to WPPI with a group of photographers. Not even half of them are here today, and we're not talking about in Vegas. We're talking about in the industry. Why is that? Have you ever stopped to think about that, why that's happening? I mean, a lot of these photographers are freaking awesome at the craft, but it takes a lot more, doesn't it? How many of you, by show of hands, have written a business plan? Ooh, pretty impressive. That's good. When was, the time, when was the last time you actually looked at it? <laughs> All right, so when we started our business, we knew we were supposed to write a business plan, but in our experience, that meant a 30-page document full of language we barely understood. <laughs> like, no thank you. <laughs> exactly. So we created a business tool called the Photographer's Business Model Canvas that we have adapted from the Business Model Canvas. The Photographer's Business Model Canvas, or as we lovingly refer to it as PBMC, <laughs> is a, an amazing tool in our business, and we're here to share it with you tonight. So whether this is your first year or your 10th year in business, listen up. All right, so how is it different from a traditional business plan? It's a great question. Traditional business plan is less visual. It's a 10 to 20 page text document. It's static, it's hard to change, and it's result oriented with charts and end of day results. And on the other hand, we have the PBMC, which is more visual. It's a one page canvas, and as artists, we really dig this. It's easy to change. Experiment with this tool, and it's action-oriented. What you want to do is focus on actions that you do to solve problems for your clients and how. You guys, when you identify a problem to solve and believe that you have a solution to that problem, you own that when you're talking to your clients, and people are attracted to that kind of confidence. So let's talk about how to actually use the tool. At the end, we're going to share with you a link that you can actually download the PBMC and get down and dirty with, your, with, with it yourself. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry. please, Steve, don't forget the it. Sorry. All right. All right, so let's break it down. The tool is divided into your hard skills on the left and your soft skills on the right. As you, can, as you can see, your hard skills are your more objective, measurable categories. What problem are you solving? What are your solutions? What tools do you need, and how much does it cost to run your business? And on the right, we have the soft skills, which are definitely more subjective and often associated with uh, personality traits, like um, you know, if you shower often and how fresh your breath is. These types of questions you're going to answer are, who is your ideal client? Why do they book you? How do you reach them? And how do you make money? And then we have these two categories in the middle, and these are the most important. They tie everything else together. And yet, you really don't find these in traditional business plans. No, and they are what is uniquely me and what am I afraid of? So let's start with what is uniquely me. In his book, The Brain Audit, Sean D'Souza really gets uh, deep into um, uniqueness. And he says, the problem is that oftentimes what people do when they're talking about uniqueness is they're trying to find their uniqueness. And they end up with some cheesy line. What you guys need to do is you need to create your uniqueness. Sean goes on to say that people, when they're trying to find their uniqueness, they ask themselves the question, well, what's unique about my business? Instead, they should be asking, what can I do in my business that's different from everyone else? So in this section on the canvas, you, we want you to think of your craziest wish, your wildest dreams for your clients. We want you to invent a uniqueness that you can build your business around. When you focus on solving problems for a very specific group of people, you do away with most objections like, um, yeah, you're too expensive. No one's ever heard that, right? Uh, Michelle Ocampo is one of our favorite examples of this. She's a senior photographer who wanted to help smart girls embrace their beauty, and she's built her whole business around this concept. In the last section, what are you afraid of? We want you to write down your fears in this section. Just the act of saying them out loud or writing them down totally diminishes their power. It's amazing. Your fears, think of the, about them as resistance. Use them as a guide. And here we have a plain analogy for you. Have you ever thought about how planes actually fly? I know, don't spend a lot of time on it. They need resistance. So do you. We encourage you to use the PBMC to understand how you can create and capture value in your business. What will you do to help out uh, others and how can you make a profit from doing so? So everybody whip out your cameras or your Pen phones paper. or something. Take a picture of this screen right here, talktools.com slash PBMC. Download the PBMC and for start free. for free. Sorry. Thank you. And start implementing in, 
uh, the PBMC into your business. We want, to, we want you to think about this as a living, breathing document that you're going to revisit and revise over time as you grow and evolve in your business. Make it like the screensaver on your computer. Hang it up next to your desk. Whatever you need to do to see it every day, it is time to create the wall art that your business really needs. Thank you. Thank you.